Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you the code that it took to make my Python digital clock that I displayed in a previous video. It, what it does is it takes the time from your computer and just displays it on a Pi game window. Uh, not a Pi game, my bad. Tkinter? Tkinter? I'm not sure how you pronounce it. I always said Tkinter. So, it's this. However you pronounce it. Packet, however you pronounce the package is up to you, but just know that I'll be pronouncing it as tkinter. Next, um, I'll just explain the code. I'm not going to go and write it out again for you. All I'm going to do is show you like what the code is, what it does, and why I put it there. So here's my little title comment for the whole code and what we're doing is we're importing time uh, which is just a necessary module from python and then this was something new i learned it's when you want to try support for both python 2 and 3 what it does is try it tries to import uh, tkinter with the module name it has in python 2 so that's with the capital T. If there's an error, an import error, then it tries the Python 3 version with the lowercase t. So that's all that. This as tk part just means that later, like here and here, instead of writing out tkinter, I could just write tk. Here we have a function called tick. Now, all it does is it sets, uh, well here, right here, it just says our, it sets our variable time one to just a blank. And then we get the current local time from the PC. So that's, we'll say time two equals time ta dot strf time. And it take, this takes the time of these, which are special characters from the time um, module and it creates a string out of them. So what I've done here is this is for hours, like non-military, uh, 12 o'clock, or like 12 hour time, and then for minutes and for seconds, and then just put it in quotation marks for a string, and you have the colons there like a normal clock would have. Now, if the time string ch has changes, update it. So basically, we want to update time 1 so that it equals time 2. So if time 2 doesn't equal time 1, then time 1 equals time 2. That's it. And clock dot frame, a clock underscore frame dot config text equals time 2. So instead of the text being time 1, it's time 2. Okay? Now, this calls itself every 200 milliseconds to update, so it's always constantly updating. So clock underscore frame dot after. 200 milliseconds, then tick, run tick to update it. Now, this is the basics for setting up a screen in tkinter and putting stuff on it. I'll briefly explain it, but I'm not going to go into too much detail on it. First, you got to create your root screen, then you create a title. I just labeled mine digital clock, and you have clock frame equals tk.label. So, this is the actual like label that the clock will go into so what's green root font times new roman 100 um, font size and make it bold background is black and the font color foreground green then you have clock frame dot pack where you're going to put it in we just pack it in there fill both sides and expand by one if you want to know more about these, then uh, go ahead and look them up. The um, internet and Google does a great job of explaining it. Root geometry. This sets the size of your um, screen because usually it'll just be the size of however big the text is. This sets it to a specific size. Then we run the tick function, and then we run this whole thing as the main loop. And when we have all this and we run it. You get a clock. I made mine with the font color is green and black. 
has that fun color green just because it looks kind of like a clock and yeah that's it thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next episode